pastoral life system is not a commercial system. It is a way of life that involves people moving around from place to place in search of pasture and water. Northeastern Kenya has some of the driest counties in the country. Garissa is the capital town of both Garissa County and northeastern Kenya. It is a market town, located on the Tana River, about 374 kilometers east of Nairobi. Tana River is a vital resource for northeastern Kenya and plays a vital role in the livestock value chain. Among the farm produce is livestock fodder, which is high in demand and fetches good prices during dry seasons. The county harbors the largest livestock market in East and Central Africa. Animals from as far as Somalia, Ethiopia, Isiolo and Mandera converge in this livestock market. Pastoralists are adapting within their existing resource constraints. As a result, camels are becoming more important. KDODP, as we know it, is a livestock value chain program which means it addresses issues of the producer, in this case, the pastoral system we deal with, the marketing links in between, all the way to the processor and the consumer. The Kenya Drylines Livestock Development Program, KDLDP, operates in the districts of Garissa, Wajir, Mandera, Ijara in northeastern Kenya, and Tana River in the coast region, helping pastoralist households to enhance household incomes and attain food security. The program supports the equal empowerment of men, women, children, as well as the youth. The program, which is funded through the USAID, focuses on the entire livestock value chain and has five principal themes. One, enhancing livestock trade and marketing. Two, adding value to livestock products. 3. Increasing livestock productivity and competitiveness. 4. Supporting a more favourable policy environment for the industry. And 5. Promoting strategies for mitigating the effects of climate change. Livestock marketing is one of the key solutions for improving pastoral household income. By addressing the challenges that impede the development of efficient and vibrant marketing activities in the region, the vulnerability of pastoral households to drought and other climatic shocks is significantly reduced. Financial services are a powerful tool in terms of wealth creation and economic growth. With access to financing, producers are able to get loans and advances to operate in local or even export markets. Kofi community-owned finance institution, is a community locally owned and managed finance institution developed along the SACO model, which has successfully been widely used in Kenya. The Kofi SACO is a new initiative of KDLDP and has been registered with the Ministry of Corporative Development and Marketing to specialize in offering Sharia-compliant financial services to pastoral communities and related small business entrepreneurs on a permanent, sustainable basis. Most market animals are moved out live from the northeastern Kenya by trekking or on trucks across provincial borders. There is little value addition in northeastern Kenya, either by fattening of live animals or in the local processing of animal products. The innovation and product development activities include training of groups on value addition of camel bones, camel milk, skins, hides and leather production. Ours is like a support system. It's, it's not us doing the job, it is us helping the real owners of the activities. Camels are a critical source of milk in dry land areas. The harsh climates in these areas are suitable for the hardy camel. A scarcity of fodder in these areas spreads camels far and wide, making milk collection very challenging. In spite of these obstacles, the people here have found their own ways of reaching the farthest production areas to bring milk out to the settlements, either selling it as raw milk or processing it into milk products. 
Women are able to craft beautiful jewellery out of bones that have been thrown away in the past and meat products are made into long-lasting packaged meats. I, I came to learn about fodder through KDLP. I was interested because I had some animals in the farm. After six weeks, just six weeks of planting, the nepi and the Sudan grass, I think it was like we are in a different world. This was the only green area. In the arid and semi-arid lands of Kenya, assaults, limited access to livestock inputs such as veterinary drugs, is a significant constraint that affects livestock productivity and ultimately pastoralist household income. By establishing expanded agrovets so that pastoralists have access to services at a closer proximity, household incomes are directly impacted. One of the key constraints to sustainable livestock production in the Asal regions arises from poor institutional governance and unsupportive development policies. We are not saying all policies are wrong, there's good reason, but we're saying maybe a review to make this friendly to the producer, the trader, so that production and marketing can move without hindrance. For this particular season, we had uh, received enough rains. What uh, the strategy we are looking forward to is we can also partner with CNFA on uh, drought medication mechanism where we should have be able to stock enough feed to be able to have uh, this animal on board throughout the year. The animals cannot survive in fixed sites. The statement I want to make is the livestock must keep mobile in fragile drylands, as we are talking about. Otherwise, left, uh, pastoralism will be a thing of the past.